everybody, welcome to Nimes, uh, where we were last night. It is morning now, and uh, we're standing here in front of the arena, the Coliseum. And uh, today's plan is to charge the car while we walk around and get a little bit of food, enjoy Nimes. And tonight we'll be staying in Valence, which is about an hour's drive north uh, towards Lyon. But uh, yeah, today is just a bit slower, just, uh, you know, enjoying the city and figuring out how to charge the car, as per usual. We are entering uh, Le Hall which literally translates to the shops. So this is a popular shopping place to come and hang out and get some fresh produce. And apparently they're open only open till 1 p.m. So you come here early in the day or for lunch, you come to your shopping and Le Hall. Very cool. Lots of shops in here. So we are gonna walk around and try to find a little food and see what else they got going on. But yeah, big place. Look, it goes all the way down there. It's over here. And you got some delicious fresh produce like this. You've got fish. You've got treats. Oh, they got treats. You got cheeses. How many different types of cheeses do you need? They got it all. They got it all. This is the place to be. Here we are in front of the Cathedral Notre Dame in Nîmes. Uh, just enjoying the nice plaza outside on a truly beautiful day. Uh, the next step is to walk around. We're gonna go find the temple and uh, and then probably check out the arena and that'll be it. Enjoy the gardens maybe. Yeah, good day. Now we should be able to go up there, but you can't go inside. They're doing archeological research. So right now we're just enjoying this beautiful day in the beautiful plaza. Walking up make our sacrifice of pan au chocolat. Hopefully the, guy, the gods like chocolate more than they like blood. Here we are walking towards the gardens. And what a day it is. I mean, I keep saying that, but it really is the most perfect day. A little cool, not much wind. We've got these fellas here playing this uh, ball game that's we've seen a lot of people play. It kind of makes me think of um, uh, curling, you know. The point is to get as close as you can to a certain certain ball, and it's a pretty cool day for it. And here we have a Sunday in Nimes. People in the park, drinking, eating, dancing, relaxing, enjoying this day here. Tower is just up there. Oh, yeah, there are some little koi fish in there.
Hey everybody, so the gardens that we just walked up, the entire walk to get up here, uh, according to the tour guide I talked to, was the first gardens in Europe. I'm not sure what that means, but feel free to do your own research, but she says the first gardens in Europe. Uh, and here we are at the top of the hill. If you turn, you will see the Roman fort at the top, the tower, the symbol of Roman power in this area. Uh, they would have a big fire at the top so everybody in the area could see in Nimes and the surrounding settlements. And it's uh, beautiful. And they've done a lot of work uh, just kind of keeping the area clean. But the tower itself, as you can see, is pretty much as it was. It hasn't been restored a whole lot. And we're gonna go walk over there and see if we can check it out. Well, the tower was closed, but we can take a nice last look at it. Symbol for Roman power in the region. And they got a little community in the back there, it's a few houses, and that's about it up here at the top. And now we get to enjoy the leisurely stroll down through the beautiful first gardens. Here we are outside the arena in the center of town and they have a little festival going on to celebrate a hundred years of festivities. Uh, apparently a hundred years ago, the people of France had to fight to have uh, their festivals and things. And that's what everybody's here for, to support that. I didn't get much more information than that. I apologize. They, there's a really pretty dog. Yeah, let's go take a look here. Everybody in their classic wear and their clothes. Walk, all the fancy people walking through, dressed up like they just got out of a time machine. Tiniest wings there ever was. <laughs> Probably good though. Yeah. It's kind of nasty. Yeah. But they're hot and pretty. Yeah. So, uh, the town was filling up with a lot of people. We decided uh, to skip seeing the arena, the Coliseum. We saw the one in Arlay, and instead to head on out to the country where hopefully we could check out the aqueduct, which is what we're walking up to right now. And hopefully they're not closed yet. The sun's setting soon. But yeah, we're gonna go walk over to the Roman aqueduct and check it out. Here we are, as the sun begins to set, we approach the Roman aqueduct. These were built to help move water long distances while helping to regulate and also as a bridge. And as you can see, it's a very pretty spot here. We're gonna move up a little bit. There are speakers playing with the sounds of birds. Seems a bit silly. But there it is. The Roman aqueduct. So we're gonna head over there and walk on top of it if it's still open. Here we are at the top of the aqueduct, walking along it. You can see the river down below. Nice place to walk and hang out take selfies. 
But this thing is quite big. So some interesting facts about this aqueduct is it's the tallest aqueduct and one of the most well-maintained aqueducts around. Uh, there's only a few handful of aqueducts that are still in such good shape like this one. And you can tell it's pretty much intact. It's beautiful. It's so cool to be standing up here and looking at it. And it's the sun setting too, so an extra beautiful time to visit. Let me tell you, my feet are killing me. I think it mostly had to do with Marseille. We did a lot of walking, stairs, hills, up and down. And uh, today, tomorrow, hopefully we can rest a little bit. So tomorrow is our bus to Geneva in Switzerland. So this is gonna be our last night in France. And then we have tomorrow in Switzerland. So I will say au revoir for tonight and I'll see you in the morning. Good night.